So my bow, hello everyone, Jason Shepherd here from the Lumage podcast and today I've been looking at this article uh, on how you should get you should learn 625 words specific words in your target language and that learning those words will really help you with the rest of your language so this interested me the person that has broken them up into categories and all they've done is they've given the words in english and they said you should learn your language equivalent so if you're learning french learn the french version german etc so um, it's really popular at the moment. I've seen this article everywhere, but I've got the uh, Board Panda version here. And they said a Tumblr post by a person whose name I can't pronounce, <laughs> a Tumblr name I can't pronounce, went viral after summarising a technique by Fluent Forever that can help you on your way to polyglottism. The idea is simple. Learning just 625 words in the language that you've currently got a crush on will give you a solid linguistic foundation. You'll understand a lot of things that people talk about and you'll then have enough confidence to further delve into the vocab and the grammar. They say that these words are very common. You don't have to spend your time learning words you'll rarely, if ever, use like apricot. What's more, hey, I like apricots. What's more, the words are all visual so you can learn them with the help of images instead of relying on translations. This way you can learn faster and you can create a solid foundation for learning more abstract concepts and grammar later on. While 625 words might sound like a lot, when you look through the list it looks completely manageable and a lot of fun. Let us know if you've ever tried a similar technique before, they say, and then they go going to be with the um, founder of Fluent Forever who put this list together. And um, let's go to let's go to the uh, to the list then, shall we? So what they've done is they've broken them up into different sections. And I thought what we could do is go through one section of the list per video, and then I will teach you the words from each subject. Okay, so let's have a look at the list then. So it says the list is in thematic order, and the first topic is animal. So I haven't got the words, obviously, in Welsh in front of me, just in English. So I'm going to uh, have a look down, see what the English word is, and then I'll teach you the Welsh. So the first word they've got here is dog. Now, I've taught you dog before, I think, in one of my videos. And dog is key, spelled C-I, but sounds like the key that in English you would put in your lock. So just think of a dog shaped key. You know those keys, you can get those novelty keys, and you can get like funny shaped heads. You can even get one with Kermit the Frog's head on the end of the key. Well, think of, pretend you've got a key with a dog's head. Key. 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 Now, the next one is cat. And this sounds almost like um, a shortened version of a lady's name. Cat in Welsh is calf. It almost sounds like Kath, as in Catherine. All right, Kath. Kath. So just imagine your friend Kath, but let's elongate her name. Kath. Your friend Kath looks uh, like a cat. Let's just imagine that. Or maybe she's got lots of cats and she smells a bit like one. Or it's got all the cat hairs on her. Kath, the cat fan. Kath. Kath. All right, fish. I've taught you this, I think, in one of my videos, with fish and chips. Pascod asklodion. But the word for fish on its own, pascod. Pascod. It almost sounds like cod, isn't it? The last half of the word. Pascod. 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 Right, what else have we got? Uh, oh, bird. Okay, so bird in Welsh is aderin. Aderin. Look at that Adarin flying in the sky there. Adderin. 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 Cow. Cow almost sounds like you're having a bit of a cough. Booch. 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 Boo. Boo. That, that CH sound uh, that comes from the back of your throat. As in loch. Buch. Buch. And I've done a video on how to pronounce the CH sound. So have a look in the playlist and you'll find it uh, there. Buch. 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 
Right, uh, pig. You may have heard this word because people use this a lot, not just with pigs, but in Eng English speakers use this as well. They say, oh, you mochen, oh, you pig, oh, you're so dirty, you mochen. Mochen, mochen. So it's like you say mo, as in mo, 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 and then kin, but you've got that ch in between. Mochen, 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 mochen. Mouse, mouse is chlegodin, chlegodin, chlegodin. It's a double L, a ch sound, ch, with a little L, ch, ch. Chlagodin. Chlagodin. You're thinking to yourself, is God in today? I haven't seen him in ages. Is he in? Oh, yes, yeah. Chlagodin. Um, horse. Horse almost sounds like you're saying to somebody, hey, be careful now. Because you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want anything to go wrong. Careful. Be careful now. Be careful now. Sounds like... Uh, you're saying the word careful with an accent. Be careful now what you're doing. Careful. That's horse. Careful. Then we've got wing. And wing in Welsh, the general sense for wing is adine. Adine. Sounds like you're saying, ah, I'm going to dine tonight. Adine. Adine. And the final word they've got in the topic of animals is animal. An animal in Welsh is anivail. An evail. An evail. An evail. Sounds very similar to animal, doesn't it? Animal, anival. Almost. It's almost something like animal, anival, anival. You can sort of see where the similarities are in those words. Anivail. Anivail. Look at those anivail. Look at the animals over there. Anivail. Or should I say animal over there? Because anivile is one and anivilead is more than one. Anivile. So we have our words in the anivile category, in the animal category. We have key for dog, calf for cat. What else do we have? A pascod for fish, a darin is bird, buch is cow, mochin pig, chlegodin. Uh, Mouse, kefil, horse, and um, adain, a wing, and animal, which is anivile. Now, I understand why most of those are there. Wing, I'm not so sure. Is it because there's so many different birds and different animals that have wings? I don't know. But there we are. Those are our words. And um, the next one, looking at this, is transportation. Looking at cars, planes, trains, etc. So... I'm going to do the next part of this in another video very soon. I think it's a really interesting way of learning the language. Tackling a group of words at a time in the thematic order, in the subject order. Learning those words and then moving on to the next ones. And it's right, even if you can't understand a full sentence, that like you don't know all the grammar yet, but you hear certain words in Welsh that you already understand, you can pick up on what people are saying. And even if you can't understand everything they're saying, it's exciting. You're like, but I understood that word. I knew what they said. It can be very exciting. And I, I promise you, that's how it felt for me the first time I heard words that I didn't know. And actually, every time I started to hear words, uh, Welsh words that uh, I hadn't previously known, and I hear somebody speak them, and I'm like, I can understand them. Wow, I can understand them. It's, it's exciting, and it really helps you to feel good about the learning of the language. You know you're getting somewhere. So there we are, that's our first part. Uh, transportation is our next one. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. If you like uh, what you see here and you'd like to see more, why not subscribe? And if you like to see every video as it comes out on the dot, right to the second, why don't click? Why not click the little bell? Well, thank you so much. Thank you all for uh, all the support you've given us, not just, you know, um, by joining the Learn Watch podcast or Patreon, but, you know, sending, a, sending me um, messages of support, 
telling people about the podcast, all those kind of things really help. Uh, all the thumbs up, you know, thank, thank you, really good. Um, if you would like to support us, you can go to learnwelshpodcast.co.uk or patreon.com slash learnwelsh. Either way, you'll get loads of extra learning materials to help you to learn the Welsh language. You'll get all the videos early. You know, if it's not your thing, uh, learning the language, uh, we are doing a lot more videos now of things that people will enjoy about Wales, you know, about our culture. So there are those things as well for you there. Hope you've enjoyed what we've done today as well. Um, and I shall see you soon. And I'm in a lot today. I wonder why I'm in. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have a think about it. Um, anyway, I know. I know what I need to say next. Hang on. Um, yes, I know. It's time for me to go. And I shall see you soon. Double key. Bye.